Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva using Mona for Diva skin from Plugmon. And today I kind of feel like making a nice Moog base, but it's also an art base that kind of keeps the rhythm going. And so uh, yeah, let's give that a shot here. So let's go to a new preset here and remove these first two oscillators out of the mix and kind of increase our cutoff. So we're starting off here on a blank slate. So this transpose is gonna be negative 12. Let's bring that up to zero for now. So we have something like that here. The first one's gonna be a saw. The second one is always kind of nice to be a square and down an octave. So we just get that nastiness in there. And for the third one, it's also going to be a saw. Let's bring this up in the mix as well, but also kind of slightly detune it. So hold down shift here. I'm gonna just move a little bit to the right here. Maybe 0 0.08 might be fine. So we have kind of something like that here. So for our cutoff, let's bring this pretty substantially down here to the left. And since we're going for the Moog sound, might as well stay in all the uh, the filters here as well, or the envelopes. So we hit a note, <laughs> we only hear some really low end here. So let's turn on release for both of these envelopes here. And for the first envelope, our amp envelope, let's remove the sustain entirely because we don't want the note sustaining because we're gonna be using an ARP and we don't wanna have all that craziness going. So for the decay, let's kind of bring this down here and kind of do something similar with the second envelope. So bring down the sustain here and then the decay maybe somewhere down here. Now we need to modulate it. So by default, it's already on envelope two. So let's go ahead and give that some modulation. If you're in this skin, you can just click this and move upwards. So that right there is a very quick decay here. So maybe we need to bring the decays up. And for a patch like this, really the, the decays on both envelopes are gonna be very, very important to sculpting that sound. So for now we can turn on our ARP so we can just hold down a button and kind of sculpt it from there. So we have something kind of like that, right? We need to have some resonance in there but keep in mind a little bit goes a long way because with this ladder filter the more resonance we're going to increase we're going to lose a little bit of that low end and we kind of are making a base and we want that low end so there's always that little fine line we have to uh, keep in mind so if we turn this up pretty substantially we lose a lot of that low end so we just need a little bit to kind of give it that characteristic maybe somewhere right there Something kind of like that. And what's always nice too here in the feedback, we can always use this to our advantage and kind of give back a little bit of that low end or tonality. So check, take a listen to this. So without it, and with it, just a subtle little beef that you kind of get with it. Some subtle beef, right? USDA approved. So what's nice here, we want to get a little bit of attack with this bass, so it kind of really, we know when it's hitting, right? So we can use that with a little bit of noise here, and right now it's on white noise. We could go pink noise, but we do want that upper end frequency, so we're going to leave this on white noise. That's the kind of sound that we're going for, but it's a little bit too much. Maybe something like that. So really we're at a good spot here. If we like our decays, kind of how they're standing here, we can always mess around a little bit with the attack for the second envelope that's modulating the cutoff and get a little bit extra tonality out of that as well. And from here, it kind of goes into dialing what kind of sound you want. So where do we want to place this cutoff in relation to how much do we want it to be modulated? Because those little two things are really going to affect the sound because we have everything pretty much in place besides effects and all that, but take a listen to this. If we go all the way down here, we can have something kind of like a pulsing thing, kind of pretty open here, or we can start it off a little bit higher. Kind of have it pulsing like that. Kind of a little knocking. Maybe bring that up. So that right there is kind of really up to you as far as how you want to fit fit that into your mix. Let me back up a little bit on that noise here. Okay, so now this is a pretty good sound and this is, I might even try to experiment with some more stacking here. So let's go to a second voice here and do so, a little bit of panning here. So let's right click this here and let's go to a stack voice and kind of pan this a little bit left and right. So it kind of really opens up a little bit. 
And for this, we can also add a little bit of effects here. So we can go on our chorus and kind of bring this down just a little bit here, because it's kind of much. Now here we're kind of forced into a choice here because we have two effect slots, right? So we can either add a little bit of reverb, right? Obviously cutting the lows out, or we could add some delay and that's kind of up to you. So if we turn this on here and we add a little bit of plate reverb here, let's turn our dry up and bring down our wet a little bit here, add a little bit of pre-delay and kind of bring back our size and decay. We can have something kind of like that. So here's before and after. We can either do something like that or we can do a little bit of delays here. So let's go for the high pass and kind of cut this out a little bit. Generally, it's up to you for, for this patch. I guess I'll leave this on a reverb for now and let's see how it sounds with some drums here. something right there might be kind of cool to modulate here with maybe an LFO or something like that. So maybe we can go to LFO 2 and kind of give this some depth here. So LFO 2, we have something like 1 over 1. So maybe let's go to 1 over 4. Maybe turn this down just a bit here. Maybe change this from uni or bipolar to unipolar, and we can just go to unipolar right over here. From here, it's really up to you to kind of sculpt it how you would like to. So keep in mind, the decays are going to be very, very crucial in a patch like this as well, as well as the cutoff where we're placing it and how much we're actually modulating this by using envelope two. <laughs> And we can always bring in the square this down an octave here a little bit more in the mix if we want a little bit more of that oomph there. See, with a little change of there with the cutoff and the modulation, it's almost a little bit more rounder and kind of more bassy. But yeah, I'll leave that to you to uh, to change how you'd like to. I'll leave it like this here. If you want a little bit more bright, just increase the envelope modulation amount. And yeah, so hopefully make something cool out of this patch. It's kind of fun to make. And this panel always probably sounds, it's, it's one of my favorites, to be honest with you. I do love the MS-20, but this triple OSC is really, really nice as well. So yeah, hopefully you learned something. If you want to get the download, there's a link in the video description below. And it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.